In this brand new video, you will now discover another data type, the list. Be sure to stick around, and watch until the end of this video. Please, do not forget to smash that like button, for the YouTube algorithm, since it does really help supporting us, and providing new free content, once a week. Are you interested to be part of this community? All the links are in the description below. Now, let's play this video. Once you have created your list, you may also want to add other items, or update some values. Adding or updating lists items is very easy. Lists are mutable, which means their elements can be changed. In fact, you can add one item into a list, using the method append, or add several items at once, using the method extend. To add new values to a list, use the method append. But keep in mind that, this method adds items, only to the end of the list. For instance, if you want to add a new item, yellow, to this list, you will use the method append on your list, with the new item as parameter. Then, your list will grow and it will add this item at the end of the array, with a new index. Furthermore, you can insert one item at a desired location, by using the method insert. If you want to insert an item at a specific position in a list, you will use the insert method. Note that, all of the values in the list after the inserted value will be moved down one index. Consequently, adding the item, yellow, at the index 1 will result in moving, green, and, blue, respectively to the next indexes, and, yellow, taking place at index 1, right after the item red, which is at the index 0. Updating an entry to an existing list is simply a matter of assigning a new value, with the assignment operator equals. Thus, you can replace an existing element with its new value, by assigning the new value to the desired index. Note that, list indexing in Python is zero-based, as it is with strings. Thus, if you want to update the first item, at the index 0, you will assign a new value using the equals operator, and specify the index 0, between square brackets. This way, you can update the value red with yellow, then the last item blue, at index minus 1, by orange. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, Learn Free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like, comment, and share.